Hey guys and welcome back to the vlog channel. I'm back from Coorg and back to my regular scheduling. I got a chance to go to Auckland, New Zealand for the first time and decided to explore it all by myself. Of course I had to bring you guys along. So this is my adventure to Mount Eden in New Zealand. Let's go. I just got scared by this pigeon. Oh my god. Okay, on to the bus stop. On to the bus stop. I mean, I see it, it, it's nice, but there's a whole lot of nothing. This is a theater. These are their buses. There's something there, but it's so windy. My nose is constantly running. Where the F? Oh, that's a bus stop. Okay, so I have got off at this neighborhood. It's beautiful. Let me clean the glass. And this stranger told me, you gotta stop and enjoy. You gotta stop and enjoy the sun. And I said, well, you're right. That's what I'm walking towards, guys. To enjoy the sun. Oh wow, is this like an old age home or something? Oh well, these are pretty. That's a pretty area. So the weather is perfect. But can I? question where are all the people there are no people on the street low-key scary it's good for my vlog honestly but i think this is like a expensive area i can tell by the change in houses like you can guess which area is expensive in any country doesn't matter if you've been there for the first time or not and we are at eden village i have to go to mount eden so i'm definitely at the right place thank god i see cars sherborne road you know what this neighborhood reminds me of Malibu. Okay, I guess the bird agrees. Not a single human being. I hope the mountain is worth it. Here it says to Mount Eden Summit and there's a toilet. I want to go toilet. Remember the sky tower? That's where we started from and now we're here. It's not so far actually. I wish I took a cab. Okay, believe it or not, this is a hike. Where's the toilet though? So the map asked me to take the stairs instead of the road. I guess the map wants me to get another extra workout today, okay? I mean, wow, this is beautiful, but it would be even more beautiful if there were people here. <laughs> Where are the people? I mean, that's beautiful, that's gorgeous. Okay, I guess they're coming. They all had a car. It's only a five minute walk to the peak apparently, but can you, can you see how bad tilted I am? This is like testing the Himachali in me. Bro, I don't live there anymore. Oh my, this is steep. This is steep. It's really cute that there's a cafe there, which I'm gonna go to on the way down, but let's go up. That is the city. And that's where we are headed. So I was wearing a high neck sweater inside, but I was getting so hot. So I removed that, I feel much lighter now and let's get on this hike i'm excited because i see people now i mean look at that that just makes it worth it so beautiful people are jogging up this track with so much ease track is closed ahead for construction what the hell but this is the actual volcano guys apparently the volcano has been so dormant that the grass grew over it, that's what I assume, but this is a volcano. Wow! So I'm getting to the first visiting site uh, point, I don't know. The view looks amazing, so I'm gonna sit there for a while. Wow. You can see the whole city. The 
are all these craters over there. Maybe they were food storage areas. I don't know. They do say everywhere that this is a historic and um, spiritually important site for the Maori people, which were the original people that lived here. And they tell you not to go in there. Probably a wise decision. By the way, in all these countries, Beanies really help, especially if you're 25 and above. That wind is going to hit you and make you sick. I'm telling you, learn the hard way. So make sure to carry a hat. <laughs> but I'm excited to go to the cafe now and eat some food, have a little brunchy, lunchy situation going on. Let's go. I just had a word with my mom. She gave me all the tips that she can to avoid any kind of accident. Yay, mommy. I love it. So we have, I know parents always give us all the instruction. Do this, do that. And you're like, I know, I know, I know. It's just their way of saying they care. So just, just listen to it. If you don't want to follow it up to you, just say yes. I swear they're just caring. Because I do that with my brother all the time. Let's go to the cafe. They better have some warm food. I would love a warm, even a sandwich or something. So I've realized people when they go abroad or whatever, they like to eat their own food, which is fine. But once in a while, it's always good to have their local food, not only to taste different kinds of food, but because they'll make their food best, I would assume. So it's best to have the local food if you can find it. Got a vegetarian spinach and feta cheese quiche with fries and coleslaw salad. This is a black forest cake, very different from what we're used to getting in India, but I guess they went with a healthier route. There's actual cherry inside. I was just googling what a black forest cake is. It's like a healthy version. I have an Earl Grey tea to warm me up. I am so excited for this. Yummy! This is so cool. So that's the present. And this is how it was formed. So it was a volcano it, it wasn't a food saving area this is so cool you can see the history i'm at the cafe and they have this experience center super cool okay so you see i was at the central crater and i guess i watched through the i walked through the natural vegetation the lava flow field amazing so it's the evening now the sun is gone and i'm going downhill which is way easier Yay. This is such a beautiful way. Golden hour lighting. Yes. Wait, did you know the countries in the southern hemis hemisphere of the world have the weather's opposite? So when it's hot in our countries, in the summer he hemisphere, it's winter. So as you can see, it's autumn right now with the leaves and everything, they're brown, right? So the, it's autumn in New Zealand right now, especially uh, similar for Australia and for South Africa. So whatever weather is on top is opposite over here. Interesting, right? And it's so bizarre because they have Christmas in the summers. I spoke to an Australian about this. I said, what is it like having uh, Christmas in the summer season for you? So they said, she said all the Christmas songs are just of no use to us because all the Christmas songs talk about snow and winters but we don't even have that and our Santa Claus can't even be on a sleigh because it's not even snowing so that's very funny to know but anyway now let's get to the bus so remember when we were walking on this route in the morning now the lights are lit up how beautiful is that I'm so happy to be back by the way the bus driver let me ride for free I did not know you can't just tap your bank card but it was so sweet he said it's okay so I just rode for free in the bus today. Yay! I feel like this solo day of adventure was much needed for me. Of course, I got to hang out with you the whole day. So that is the best time. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next adventure. Bye-bye.